Alright, it's time for another math easy solution. Here, I'm going to discuss some trigonometry and look at the, the derivative of secant x uh, and, and basically prove it. Basically, secant is, or, or sec x, or you can even write it as secant, is just a reciprocal. Yeah, it's a reciprocal of cosine of x or cosine, yeah, cos x. Uh, basically, what just means that it's going to be 1 over cos of x right here. And basically, to get the idea of the definition, if you were to just look at a triangle like this, if this is uh, x is the angle here, this is adjacent, um, this is opposite, this is the hypotenuse side. You can see more on this in my video, links below in trigonometry. Basically, cosine of x is equal to a over h, or adjacent over hypotenuse, so then secant of x is going to be equal to the, well, the, the reciprocal, or the, you just flip them around, so it's going to be h over a right here. And now the proof for this, it's uh, pretty straightforward if you just write it as that. So if you want to get the, the derivative of it, uh, so secant of x equals to 1 over cosine of x. We just write it like this. And we know that the derivative of cosine of x, we write d cos of x. See my early video on proof of this, dx equals to just negative sine of x right here. So it just equals to that. So we could use that to our advantage. We could even uh, rewrite this uh, in the form of a power. So we could apply the power rule uh, for derivatives, uh, which is pretty straightforward here. So we would just write this as cosine of x all to the power of, well, negative 1 right here. So now you can see a video link on the proof for uh, the derivative of, of a power rule that I'm going to show right now. So basically, if we were to do the derivative, so we go d secant of x or over dx or the derivative. This would just equal two. Well, we bring down this negative one. So then we're going to have it now basically cosine of x all to the power of negative two. So we subtract one from there. Then we use the chain rule. So the derivative of this inside of this function of this power rule uh, power function, which is cos x. The derivative of that is just negative sine of x right here. So we write negative sine of x. So now let's uh, write this as a fraction. So put so basically this is a negative. We could put this at the bottom. So we could write it as yeah, d uh, secant x over dx equals two. Well, the negatives are going to cancel. There's a negative one neg and neg negative sign, so they cancel. So we don't have any negative numbers. We put this at the bottom. So we're going to have one over cos squared of x. You can even put it on the outside bracket or just put it like this. This is the same thing as this one here times it by, well, sine of x right here. So this is our derivative, but we could simplify this further just to make it uh, just more presentable. So this is going to be just make this written as 1 over cos of x times it by, well, 1 over cos of x, or yes, yeah, so 1 over cos x right here, and just put the sign over here. So we split this up. Instead of putting it cos squared, we just put cos x times cos x. That's just, that's the same thing as cos uh, squared and put the sine x right over here. And now this part right here, this is just tan of x. This definition of tan of x is just sine over cos x. And then basically this one here is, we're back to the beginning of secant of x. So then our derivative, we could just write it all, all in one. So derivative of secant of x, or sec x, et cetera, equals uh, over dx equals two secant of x times it by 10 of x right here. So it's just basically simple derivative rules, and we get this derivative right here. Well, anyways, that's all for today. Hopefully you'll learn from this video. Remember to uh, watch my earlier videos on trigonometry and derivatives and power functions, etc. in the related videos in the video links below, as well as if you want to download these exact notes, you can all download that in the Dropbox link below. Anyways, that's all for today. Hopefully you enjoyed and stay tuned for another math easy solution.